So Wood Harris plays the role of Gabriel Marks in the film, and he's the manager of the District Legend Band. Um, we we kind of knew we wanted Wood from the beginning. He had a, a, such a good look, um, and like the kind of the role he played on the wire, I think showed a lot of his depth, and kind of showed us that that subtle, like acting in a very 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 subtle way in some scenes. That was really something that we wanted for Gabe's character, because you know he. He's kind of going through a lot and going through a lot of changes um, and seeing a lot of things he wants go well and then go badly. So we wanted somebody that definitely had a lot of range and depth, but that could also, um, I guess, fit into um, the DC culture, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then with the DC slang and just the DC look, and I think Wood was perfect for that. So I think, um, you know, it had a lot to do with us seeing him um, in his role in The Wire, but just also seeing his career and how much range he has um, in his work. Monique, she actually, she's amazing. She did a lot of work on a very short time frame. So she actually came on last minute and I mean, she really, I think one of the, the, the best parts about casting Monique is that like a lot of who she is naturally like worked really well with the character. And so she, you know what I'm saying, she brought something really natural to it, but I mean, she, we just needed somebody that could act. And then on top of somebody that could act, somebody that, you know, understands kind of DC style and like DC swagger, so to speak. I mean, she's from here, you know, and she has a very gorgeous, unique look. And that was something that really, you know, added to it, um, to casting her um, and just such a fresh face, you know what I mean? And that's what we wanted for Jazz, somebody that we haven't really seen a lot of, so. Erica Shambly plays the role of Leah Morgan in the film. That's Jazz's younger sister. And I mean, her character, she kind of was like the glue that Gets us, she's the glue that gets us through the entire film. Not only is she doing voiceovers, but she kind of plays the naive character who's kind of new to the music scene, new to the whole DC nightlife. She's just kind of graduating from high school. So um, she's kind of representative of an audience that's not familiar with Go-Go, not familiar with um, you know DC culture. And we kind of bring her into it um, through jazz's you know, singing career and the fact that she begins to come out in support of that. So. Um, she, you know, Erica did an amazing job. We, did, we definitely needed somebody for Leah that could show um, a sadder, more somber side, I think. And also like a still, like a happy youth, um, youthful side. And then obviously somebody that could dance because she's a dancer in the film. Um, and she did an amazing job with it, with the choreography. Um, but I mean, that, that, that role is, is crucial to the film, I think. and, and um, whether it's through the voiceover or just through naturally what she's asking about in the film and kind of asking about um, in some of the scenes, she really just helps get the audience, um, you know, knowledgeable about what we're talking about and knowledgeable about the underground scene in DC. Okay, okay. DC stand up. Andre Strong plays the role of Flight. He plays the lead MC of the band and kind of <laughs> the villain, so to speak, in the film. Um, and there's an irony to his character because he actually, you know, is the one that, um, you know, brings Jazz up on stage and, and kind of gives her the opportunity to, to audition for the band and to kind of show what she can do. And then, of course, his relationship with her is, is one that is just tumultuous throughout the entire film. So. With him, we really, we, 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 with that character, we really had to find somebody that, that could act. Because, um, I mean, they just get, they have some intense scenes. So, um, you know, and if, and if you're not flowing right and if you're not in the character right, then it comes out stale. Um, and, I mean, Andre just, he really did a good job. Um, I mean, not only as a musician and on the performance side, because he is a musician, but just in the, in terms of the nitty gritty acting side and, and, and um, you know, carrying those scenes where he's kind of the primary person dr um, driving the scene. Um, the scene in the basement comes to mind towards the end of the film where um, him and Jazz have like a huge yelling match and it gets all intense. So, um, you know, again, a fresh face. We definitely wanted fresh faces. We definitely wanted, you know, people from the city that understand the vibe and the gist of everything. And he was fabulous. 
Clifton Powell is an amazing talent. We brought him on board to play the role of Blair Morgan, um, Jazz and Leah's father. And I think what our goal was with him was to really, I mean, he's such a veteran. He's done so many projects. So our goal with him was really just to get give him something that we, we've never really seen, a role we've never really seen him play on film. Um, and that's Blair Morgan. He's like a very strict doctor, um, loses his wife early on in the film. And so he's kind of struggling with that and then struggling with the similarity between Jazz and his wife that's passed away. So, you know, his role is one that um, I think lends a lot to Jazz's character just in terms of the dialogues they have and the lack of support that she's getting coming from him. Um, but we just wanted somebody that could also capture in subtle ways, um, you know, grief and what, you know, what it what it's like to go through the loss of a wife and then to have a daughter, you know, that's constantly reminding you of that person. So he did an amazing job. He's from DC, this is his first film shot here. So we were just so happy to have him back. Um, he also is a graduate of Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Um, back when it was workshop for careers in the arts and so just to have him able to come back and be involved with a project that has so many alumni from the school across you know such a time span was just it was really great and he had a great time one of the biggest um, I think little additional flares that we added onto the film where we tried to get like um, some cameos from like prominent people in the go-go scene. So, um, um, like in the cookout scene where, you know, the band is coming together and Jazz is, you know, hanging out with them casually, I think for the first time, they're kind of playing a game of spades, which is a game that everyone in DC is very fond of. Um, and so at the table, we have Yanni, who is the lead singer of the Listen Band. That's a great um, band um, touring all over, but a great band in DC. Um, and then we have Bugs, who's one of the lead MCs of the Junkyard Band. Um, and I mean, Junkyard Band is like a legendary, legendary band in D.C. And then we have Big Tony, who um, was the lead MC of Trouble Funk, uh, which is one of the older school bands. Um, and, you know, we weren't able to get um, as many old school people in the film as we wanted to, but um, I think Big Tony was a great person to have just because they represent like so much, like what Gogo has been through and like the success of Gogo. Um, and you know they've toured all over the world and I mean he kind of it's funny because he has such a unique voice that you know he's one of the most memorable ones I think Chuck being one of the other big ones you know we just wanted to make sure that we were able to tap into some of the some of the history of Gogo and some of the faces that have kind of brought Gogo to where it is today um, and I think especially for DC people that go to see the film it'll be a nice addition for them. Go to work, she make my toes curl. Get even steady, like I need